Is it Christmas yet? There's two of us. So, last night, about 10.30pm, the Doctor Who YouTube channel dropped the trailer for the Christmas special. Just as I was going to bed. It was really annoying. So, I watched it, obviously, and uh, watched it again, obviously, and a couple more times as I made some notes, but I did not have enough time to record this video last night because I was tired and I wanted to go to bed. So, I'm doing it this morning instead. So, uh, I thought I would give a quick breakdown of the trailer. What we what did we see? And uh, what did I think of it? So, let's, let's start with what did we see. So, the trailer starts. Uh, we see an old black and white TARDIS. We see uh, some, basically some footage from um, the 10th planet. Uh, William Hartnell giving one of his lines. And then it does the most amazing shot ever where it transitions from William Hartnell into David Bradley finishing off that line and it is seamless it goes from black and white to uh, color it goes from the one actor to the other and it is it is genuinely seamless it's like it almost looks like they're just turning the black and white image color but it is changing that one is the old the actual footage from the original and the other is newly filmed footage with David Bradley and it is seamless it is perfect I think this is an excellent way to start the trailer then we get a bit of a, a scene that we've already seen from the end of Doctor Falls. Now this is interesting, we get to see the Doctor, first Doctor, start to regenerate with the newer golden effect. Be, I'm sure there'll be some controversy of that. I quite like it and honestly with the old black and white effect that they had back then, it was just a sort of white out glow which you can imagine being just a black and white version, low tech version of, of what we have now. Um, so I'm not I'm not fussed about that. That's quite good. And you also get to see the old companion Polly, obviously played by a new actress here. Um, so that's nice. Uh, we get to see some old companions as well as uh, old Doctor. Two TARDIS are standing next to each other is what we see next. Very different sizes looking, uh, uh, you know, reflecting the fact that the outside of the TARDIS does change as well as the inside. Um, obviously it's grown bigger over the years. Slightly different top, slightly different shape, slightly different lamp, all that sort of stuff. They've obviously decided to travel somewhere together because obviously they meet and we saw them meet at the end of the Doctor um, Falls and here they they have just arrived somewhere and are both coming out of their TARDISes at the same time so they've obviously gone right at some point we need to go to this place let's both go there in our separate TARDISes meet you there they land next to each other something has gone wrong with time but what what's gone wrong with time they're frozen in some in, in a moment of time but what does that mean why has that happened? Is it something to do with the regenerations? Or is it independent of them? Lots of questions. Get some soldiers. This looks like it's World War One, maybe? The trenches, possibly? Uh, it certainly looks like English soldiers. And uh, and it looks kind of like a trench environment, I think. So, uh, I've, you know, I'm thinking World War One. they've gone to. Mark Gatiss. Now, I have a theory here. He's playing a soldier. He's credited as the captain. Now what if this is the Brigadier, a very early version of the Brigadier, the Brigadier, the youngest we have ever seen him. Um, I think that could be really interesting. Is Mark Gatiss playing the Bri a young Brigadier? We've seen him, when we first met the Brigadier, it was with the second Doctor, and he was the Colonel. So this would be before that, he hasn't been promoted to Colonel yet. This is only a theory, it's not been confirmed, but the fact that he's called the Captain as well, just like... You know, he's later referred to by his rank quite a lot of the time as the Brigadier. I think there's a good chance that this, that Mark Gatiss, is playing a young version of the Brigadier. So when they're going through the cast here, you've got smug looks from both the Doctors, really. Peter Capaldi doing a little cheeky side glance and a smug look. And then David Bradley doing the kind of first Doctor smug look. The traditional kind of like holding, holding your breeches. Yes, I know what, I, I know what I'm doing. And then, interestingly, Mark Gatiss is credited. So that, I think, points to the fact that he is the guest companion for this episode. He uh, is a big part of it. And that, I think, adds further weight to the fact that he's probably the Brigadier. Police boxes, they're ever so good, aren't they? <laughs> I like that line. He's in the first Doctor's Titus there because we've got the white roundels behind him. So I'm looking forward to getting to see a bit of classic TARDIS action in this as well. We kind of knew that was happening. Uh, the old console had disappeared from the Doctor Who experience, so everyone kind of assumed that we'd be seeing the uh, First Doctor's inside the First Doctor's TARDIS as well. That confirms it. That's quite exciting. 
bit of TARDIS flying action, bit of explosions. Now, we, it's obviously in silhouette we see the First Doctor and the Twelfth Doctor here. Um, and, and in the next scene we see them more clearly. The the Twelfth Doctor is, is in his sort of action pose. Sonic screwdriver out, just more sort of shielding away from the explosion. Which reflects their characters fine because that that is you know the first doctor was never an action hero that role always went to his companion ian uh, so that's good some more action shots and swinging on some cables they have an advantage there's two of them and bill bill is back is he here is the doctor here pearl mackey is back for this episode and then we get the title twice upon a time well, there was a lot in there, and uh, some good, some, I don't know how to say it. Well, let, let's be honest, the elephant in the room, Bill. I love Bill. I think she's a great companion. Do I want her back in this? I'm not sure I do. Get to that in a minute, though. Going back to my theory about um, the Brigadier, I think they'll, that will divide fandom a little bit as well, because I think uh, there will be a lot of people that will say that you can't replace Nicholas Courtney. In the similar vein that we had people even saying that you can't replace William Hartnell. Um, I think there'll be the, the same people that said that will be saying that you can't replace Nicholas Courtney for this. Maybe even a couple more. I don't I don't know, because he's fet, you know passed away fet a lot more recently than um, William Hartnell has. I'm excited about it. I I don't know. <laughs> the problem is with the casting of Mark Gatiss. In the, I, I love the idea that they're bringing back a really young v brigadier for this. I think that can work really well. Problem might be with the casting. Mark Gatiss, he's always Mark Gatiss. You can, I don't know, I've never seen him do it. He's not, he's not a massive, at least I haven't seen him, do amazing character work. He's always kind of got the same sort of feeling to him. And, and I got the same impression here. So not entirely convinced that he's the right person to play it. But I'm willing to keep an open mind. And I'm, I'm okay with them bringing back the Brigadier as a young man. That's fine. I am really excited about this. I think that David Bradley, bringing back David Bradley from um, from the special um, around the 50th to play the first Doctor, to play William Hartnell playing the first, you know, like he did then, and to play the first Doctor this time. I think that's a great idea. I think use him while he's there because he is, if anybody's going to play the first Doctor in anything, it's going to be him. So use him while we've got him. Um, and I'm really glad they're doing this. And I have a feeling, this is, this is definitely something that, is much more on Stephen Moffat's radar to do these type of things. He's done a lot of them. He's got his like tick list of things he wants to do in Doctor Who, and that's fine. And I don't think Chris Chibnall has the same sort of attitude. I think we'll see a lot less returning stuff in Chris Chibnall's era, era than we have in Stephen Moffat's era, who was very much about bringing back the fan favourites, bringing back things, doing multi-Doctor stories, that kind of thing. Um, I think we'll see a lot less of that in Chibnall, so I'm glad we got this in while we could. And yeah, Bill... Okay, I love Bill as a character. I thought she has been the best companion that we've had in a while. I I didn't have a bad word to say about her, really, throughout the whole of the run of the 10th series. However, her story finished. She went, I didn't like the way her story finished, but it did. And they did that. And now I don't think she should come back. At least not yet. Maybe in several years' time, they could they'd give her a guest slot or something. I just don't know. I'm not sure about that. Again, willing to keep an open mind though, so we'll see. And then of course, uh, at the end of the episode, we're going to get the regeneration of 12 into 13. That'll be exciting too. Oh, so much good to come. I can't, can't believe it's not Christmas already. We've got five months to wait. In fact, five months tomorrow now to wait until this, because it's the 24th of July as I'm recording this. Five months tomorrow to wait to watch this episode. Thank you for watching. Just to let you know, um, I'm going to be doing a, a book giveaway, Doctor Who book giveaway. I've got, a, you'll see in a, one of my festivity videos around my birthday, I got two Doctor Who books that were the same. So I'm going to be giving one of them away in a future video. So if you want to be in a chance with that, subscribe to the channel and um, uh, keep an eye out for future videos. It'll be some point in the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing a, a, this giveaway. So uh, please do subscribe and keep watching my videos. Um, I do all sorts. I do Doctor Who videos. I do these ones where I celebrate festivities, every fe festivals, kind of holidays every day of the year. And I also do other pop culture type things. Um, but subscribe uh, to keep find out when that video hits and you could win a Doctor Who book.
It's not bribery at all, is it? Oh, and let me know in the thingy jig below what you thought of this trailer. What are you excited about? What are you not excited about? You know, what do you want to see in this? And, and how do you feel about Bill coming back? Let me know. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.